What's up, Hyperfast Nation? On this episode of the show, we are going to take a look at five ways to maintain a positive mindset no matter what the real estate market is doing. Stand by for this episode of the Hyperfast Show. All right, welcome back to the Hyperfast Agent Show. Thank you for tuning in today. We are going to talk about five ways to keep a strong mindset. I know that this uh, may not be as tactical as you're used to getting because on this podcast, I try to keep it all tactical and actionable. Uh, We've been doing a lot of those kind of episodes lately and uh, having guests on that uh, have kind of paved the path and and hopefully have been where you want to go. Uh, Last guest we had on uh, was Avery Carl. She went from zero to a billion in five years. Um, Done a bunch of episodes after that on things like converting uh, buyers after the NAR settlement, how to convert listings and sellers after the NAR settlement, expireds. Uh, Last week, we did a bunch on teams, right? Different team models, uh, different times. If you're a team member, by the way, uh, when and how you should consider leaving a team. Uh, But today we are, um, you know, going a little bit into mindset uh, because I know with where the market's at, it's been hard for many, many agents. Um, So if you're feeling that way, you're not alone. And here are five ways they maintain a strong, positive mindset, no matter what's going on in the market. Number one, focus on what you can control. Okay, so you cannot control interest rates. You can't control the economy. You cannot control the election. You can't control the NAR settlement or DOJ investigations or anything uh, like that. Right? So don't worry about that stuff. You know, yes, pay attention and, and learn how it impacts you because, you know, you have to... Um, play the game, you know, according to the rules of the game. So definitely know that, know what's going on so you can help your buyers and sellers, but don't focus on it. Don't worry about it, right? Focus on the things that you can control. The biggest things you can control are your attitude and your actions. That's why I think you should really have goals every day that are action-based, right? So how many hours are you going to prospect? How many past clients are you going to talk to, right? Goals like that that are action-based. Um, you know, how many emails are you going to send out? How many texts are you going to send? So make your goals action-based, right? Focus on the things that you can control. Number two, uh, show up with gratitude, right? Practice gratitude every day. This is not just some like woo-woo thing or you sit around chanting like affirmations, right? This is uh, being grateful for the things that you have so that your energy level's elevated, your mindset's elevated, and you will show up better, right? I promise you, if you, if you have... Uh, gratitude and thanks for, you know, your family, your, your, your health, um, just any little thing around you, right? If it's a, you know, nice day out, right? And if you just show up with gratitude, uh, you will show up better for your clients. You will show up better in listing appointments. You'll sound better on prospecting calls, right? So practice gratitude each and every day. Number three, invest in professional development, right? Um, this, this, means you you have to invest time and maybe in some cases money right if you if you can't invest money uh, you have to you have to invest time uh, and, you, and even if you invest money you still have to invest time because you can buy the best coaching or go to the best events but if you don't show up and implement right it's all all for not so you're gonna have to invest time no matter what uh, if you don't have the money for like so, you know the, the coach you need or event you want to go to that's fine. Uh, you can still invest your time and get get the training. There's a lot of low cost ways out there to do that. There are podcasts such as this one or Tim and Julie Harris. Uh, you know they have a great one with daily episodes. Uh, there's scripts online you can get for all your different objections, prospecting calls, listing appointments. You can role play, right? And if you don't have an agent to role play with or a group to do it with, you can actually use Chat GPT for this with the voice features on there, and it's very effective. Um, you know, you can, you can join networking groups, right. That, that focus on, on coaching and, pro- and professional development. So there's, there's a ton of ways to do that. One way that I should mention, by the way, is you can join our group at eXp Realty, right. Carrie and I partner with hundreds of agents now, in, you know, over a dozen and a half States. We provide coaching 
from us personally. We provide group coaching, masterminds, uh, online coaching from Hyperfast Agent and from another nationally recognized coaching company. So you get multiple sources of education when you partner with us at EXP Realty, right? You get all of the benefits that you normally would get at EXP Realty, but you also get uh, tons of training and support from us um, and, and our whole upline. So if you want to learn more about that, just pick up your phone and text me at 703-638-4393 and I can share with you um, you know, how we will partner with you, how we'll help you sell more homes, how we'll help you build revenue share so that you can have more passive income, right? Uh, you get all of that when you join us at EXP Realty. And I'd love to have that talk with you. 703-638-4393. All right, number four. Uh, number four is surrounding yourself with a supportive community. This can be at your brokerage or your group, right? If you're at eXp Realty, that's another reason we, we do our group masterminds at eXp because we're trying to build more community and, and help our agents, um, you know, help each other, right? So, um, you know, these can be networking groups, of course, uh, but it's really just getting your, getting in the rooms with people that are positive and and that are working towards the same goals as you, or, or maybe are a, a step or two ahead of you even, right? Getting into those, those kind of rooms and just having a supportive community. All right, number five, last one here, maintain a long-term vision and also be adaptable, okay? So um, yeah, it's a tough market, um, but everything is, everything is cyclical. And if you, know, if you can um, maintain your, your sales activity, your sales volume in this market, that actually means you're gaining market share. So you'll be in a super good position when it comes back. Um, you know, a lot of the people that you're prospecting now are, are, are potentially coming like pent up sellers or pent up buyers, meaning because of the economy or interest rates or inventory, right? They're, they're still interested in moving or buying or selling, right? They're just putting it off six months or 12 months. So um, you know, if you, if you just realize that as you're prospecting, maybe it's less business now, but a lot more in six months or 12 months, right? I think that kind of attitude will definitely help you and, um, you know, work backwards too, like work backwards from your long-term uh, goal. So build out where you want to be in five years, three years, a year, and then really break it down into what, what needs to happen each and every day, what happens, what needs to happen each week, each month, each quarter, um, and then finally, be adaptable, right? Um, you know, you're, you're, you, you need to be adaptable in this market. And just because something was working great for you as a lead source or prospect before, um, you know, doesn't, doesn't mean it can't shift if the market changes, right? Which is what a lot of people saw in 2021, 2022. So, so definitely be adaptable um, while maintaining a long-term vision. So hopefully you guys got uh, value out of this. Um, please make sure you leave us a review on iTunes, leave us a comment on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, turn on alerts, all of that good stuff. Share this uh, episode with other people, right? Because uh, the more more viewers and listeners we get, the more you know, the more excited I get about the impact it's making. So please, I really do appreciate it when you share, repost, tell your friends, tell other agents that you think could benefit from it. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.